Hello guys, this is Sushant. So welcome to your channel which is Science Engineers. We have uploaded videos for your preparation for the mathematics section of your MHCET. So if you are new to the channel, do check the videos which we have already uploaded on our playlist for the mathematics MHCET section. Do subscribe to our channel to get the regular updates of the videos which we are uploading. And also do like our videos, share our videos and do comment on our videos so that it helps us make more videos in the future for you guys. So let's get going with today's topic which is for your Conex. We are going to be discussing on the topic of circles in this particular video. So before we go and solve the problems related to your circles, let us have a quick recap on this particular topic. So if you have a circle whose center is given to you, that is h comma k and its radius, radius is given, then this is the standard equation for it, that is x minus h, that is your x minus the x coordinate of the center, the whole square, plus y minus the y coordinate of the center, the whole square, is equal to r, which is nothing but the radius square. Now, if in this you are substituting h and k as 0 comma 0, that is your center is going to be origin, then in that case you will be getting the equation of the circle as x square plus y square is equal to r square. So whenever you are having this particular equation, then directly you have to understand that this is a circle which is having its center at 0 comma 0, that is origin, and the radius is going to be nothing but the constant's root. Next is you are going to have if your circle center is lying on the x axis that is it is having the center at h comma 0 so substituting h as h and k as 0 you will be getting the equation as x minus h the whole square plus y square is equal to r square. Now in this you have to understand that the, the points where the circle is going to be intersecting the axis that is your x axis in this case is going to be nothing but h plus r comma 0 and it is h minus r comma 0 because basically you have to understand that h is a center and the radius this part is going to be the radius so h plus the radius part is going to be the intersection on the x-axis and also on the other side it's going to be h minus r that is your h minus radius parts is going to be the intersection on the other side. Now this is going to be helping you if the circle is going to be touching the y axis that is your y axis is going to be tangent to the circle then in that case you will be getting your h minus r which is going to be coinciding with your 0. So basically you will be getting your h coordinate that is the h coordinate of this particular point is equal to r. So in that case you will be getting this equation in the form of x minus h the whole square or it can be x minus r the whole square which is radius plus y square is equal to r square. So a quick logic or quick understanding will help you uh, basically understand the equations and also recollect them when you are solving them. Coming to the next one, if the center is lying on the y axis, so the center is going to be 0 comma k. So the equation becomes x square plus y minus k the whole square is equal to r square. Similar logic if you apply over here, you will be getting that your k if it is touching let us say the circle is going to be touching the x axis that is your x axis is going to be tangent to the circle then in that case you will be getting the value of k which is going to be equal to the radius of the circle and the equation then turns out to be x square plus y minus r the whole square is equal to r square. So you can just expand it into your standard equation. So coming to the standard equation of a circle the standard equation of the circle is given in this format that is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. So you have a second degree terms of x and y both present, you have a single degrees of x and y both present and you have a constant term then most probably it is going to be the equation of the circle. Now if it is proved that this is the equation of the circle then the center of this particular circle is going to be minus g comma minus f that is you have to find the coefficient of x divide by 2 and give a minus sign you have to find the coefficient of y divide by 2 you will be, and give the minus sign you will be getting the y coordinate and you will be getting the x coordinate for this 
So we'll be getting a minus g comma minus f as the center of the circle. And if you want to find what is the radius, then it is given by the formula which is g square plus f square minus c. Now coming to the standard results. So first one is if the circle is going to be passing through the origin and it is making the intercepts on the x and the y axis. Let us say it is making the intercept A on the x-axis and B on the y-axis. Then in that case, we will be getting the equation in this format. That is x square plus y square minus the x-intercept into x minus B, which is the y-intercept into y is equal to 0. Now in this, you can see that there is no constant term. So whenever you don't have a constant term in the circle's equation, then most it's going to be passing through the origin. The next equation which we see is for the diameter. If you know the ends of the diameter, this particular line which is passing through the circle is the diameter of the circle. And if you know the ends of the diameter, that is x1, y1 and x2, y2, then the equation is given in this format. That is the x minus x1 into x minus x2. So basically you are taking the x coordinates of the, your diameters plus y minus y1 into y minus y2. So you are taking the y coordinates of your diameter is equal to 0. So these are some of the standard forms of your equations of the circle. You can get many more types or many more equations of your circles from your standard books of references. So you can just go through that. So let's go for the problem section which will be related to this particular. So this is a question which is given the least and the greatest distance of a point from this particular equation. Now this particular equation is the equation of the circle which is given to you. So I need to find the distance between the point and the greatest and the least distance of any point which is lying on the circle. So let us consider that this is the given circle which is there and let us consider that 10 comma 7 is some point which is lying uh, outside this particular circle. Now you can whether check it whether it is going to be lying on the circle if it is lying on the circle or if it is lying outside the circle or if it is lying inside the circle by simply substituting the values of x as 10 and y as 7 and checking in the equation. If this equation if you are getting it equal to 0 that means that the a point is lying on the circle. If it is going to be greater than 0 that means the point is going to be lying outside and if it is less than 0 then that means you are getting the point which is lying inside. So for now we are not bothered about that. So let us go for the question. So it is you have to find the least and the greatest distance between the two po uh, the point and any two points on the circle. So for the greatest and the least distance we need to find let us draw a line which is passing through that and also through the circle. So you can see that the least distance is going to be the nearest point which is this point and the furthest is going to be this particular point over here. Now to get that you have to understand that the least and the furthest are basically nothing but the two extremes of the diameter of the circle. So basically if you find what is going to be the center of the circle and you find the distance of the point from the center to get the least distance what you need to do is you need to just subtract the radius of the circle and to get the furthest you have to add the distance to the radius of that circle. So let us go and find the center of the circle you know that the equation which is x square plus y square minus 4x minus 4y minus 20 is equal to 0. From there you will be getting your g, f and c because you have to then use your equation that is to find the center you have to use your minus g comma minus f. So from this you can see that your g is going to be nothing but 2 and your sorry minus g is going to be nothing but 2 and minus f is going to be nothing but 1. So the center becomes 2 comma 1. To get the radius you need to find, uh, use the formula which is radius is equal to root of g square plus f square minus c. So using your equation which is g square plus f square minus c. So you will be getting your g as 4. You will be getting your f as 1. So f square basically is 1. So this is g square which is 4 and f square is 1. You will be getting your minus of c. So you can see that the c value is minus 20. So that becomes plus 20. So we will be getting this as 25. So basically the radius of the circle is 5. 
now the next thing what you have to do is you need to find the distance of this point from the center so for that you will be using the distance formula so that is nothing but root of the difference of the x coordinate so that is 10 minus 2 which is 8 square plus the difference of your y coordinate that is going to be 7 minus 1 which is 6 square so it is 64 plus 36 which is 100 and you will be getting the value that is the distance between the two point as 10 so this distance you are getting it as 10 so the least distance is going to be 5 because it is 10 minus 5 and the maximum distance or the greatest distance which you will be getting is going to be 15. So from the option which would be given to you, you have to select the least distance as 5 and the greatest distance is to be 15. So it's going to be 5 comma 15 as the answer for it. So let us go for the next question. We have the equation of tangent to the circle is parallel to this particular line is given by this that is 3x minus 4y plus k is equal to 0 and we need to find the values of k which will be satisfying this condition. So let us consider a circle which is given this circle and we have to have uh, the equation of the tangents basically which are going to be parallel to this line. So we can have two possible lines which will be one will be tangent at this point and the other one will be tangent at this point. So whenever you are uh, seeing that the tangents are drawn, you have to understand that the tangents are going to be nothing but the perpendicular. So basically it is a perpendicular distance of the tangent from the center is going to be equal to the radius of the circle. So it is going to be for the both the tangents which are drawn over here. So you will be basically finding the distance of the tangent from the circle and equating it to the radius of the circle. So in doing so let us find first of all the center of the circle. So from this you will be getting the center of the circle. So the center you can see it is going to be 1 comma minus 3. So the center is 1 comma minus 3. And then you will be getting the radius of the circle. So that is nothing but equal to root of 1 square plus 3 square which is minus 3 square which is 9 and minus of c that is going to be plus 6. So we will be getting the value of this as 16 so the radius comes out to be 4. So once you get that then you have to use your property or use the formula which is the distance of a point from a line which is nothing but going to be equal to the radius of the circle. So using that concept let us go for it. So my 4 that is the distance that is the distance between the point and the tangent or the line basically is going to be 4 which is equal to the formula is magnitude of you have to simply substitute the values of 1 and minus 3 in place of x and y in this equation so we'll be getting that as 3 into 1 minus 4 into minus 3 so that becomes 4 into 3 plus 4 into 3 and plus k divided by its root of a square plus b square which is root of 3 square plus 9 square sorry 4 square so it's basically 9 plus 16 so you have to solve this equation so you'll be getting this as 4 is equal to 3 plus 12 that is 15 plus k which is inside the modulus sign you'll be getting this as 5 so 5 4s are 20 so to remove the modulus sign you have to write this as k plus 15 will be equal to either plus or minus 20 so you'll be getting the k value as either it is going to be plus 20 so you'll be getting the k as 5 or if it is minus 20 then you will be getting the the value as minus 35 so the k value can be your 5 or minus 35 so you'll be getting the answer as a so let us consider this question which is given that is the, we have to find the other end of the diameter through this particular point on the circle which is given so we know that the diameter equation is given in the form of x minus x1 so let us consider this as x1 so it will be x plus 1 and let us consider the other end as x2 y2 so we'll be getting this equation as x minus x2 plus 
y minus of 1 so it's going to be y minus 1 into y minus y2 is equal to 0 so this is your diameter form of the equation so opening the bracket you'll be getting this as x square minus uh, x into x2 into x plus it's going to be x minus x2 plus you will get again this as y square minus y2y minus y plus y2 is equal to 0. So the simple way to solve this will be to take the x terms. So you are saying that the x terms over here are nothing but 1 minus x2. So this is the x term and this one is the x term. And from here, let us can calculate the y term. So you have the minus y and minus 1. So minus y and minus y2 is the y term of the equation. Now this is this circle is basically representing this circle only. So we have to just equate it. So this was the x term present. Over here, the x term is equal to minus x. So you'll be getting the equation that is x2 is equal to 7 and from this you have to just find the y term so that is your 4 so from this you will be getting your y term so that is going to be nothing but <coughs> equal to minus 5 so the other end will be equal to 7 comma minus 5 which is nothing but your option C. So these are some of the types of questions which can be asked in the circles. You have to remember the various forms of the equations of the circles and what they represent in that particular equation. So this is Sushan signing off for now. So keep learning, keep watching and happy learning and do not forget to like the video, share our videos and do comment in the comment section how do you find these videos. So take care and all the best for your preparation. Bye.